Hi, my name's Dr. George Nelson. I go by the name of Pinky, so Pinky Nelson is my name. I am an astronomer and college professor at Western Washington University in Bellingham, Washington. Uh, I have worked uh, for NASA for a number of years as an astronaut and was fortunate enough to get to fly three times on board the space shuttle. One of the exciting things that I got to do uh, while I was working at, at NASA was to be in on the very ground floor of the design and the development of the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope is the most productive scientific instrument that's ever been built in terms of the amount of research that's been done with it, the number of papers that have been published, the new uh, information, the new discoveries we've made about the universe with that telescope. It's a very high-tech optical instrument. And uh, my role, surprisingly enough, was as a technician on that. I spent hundreds of hours in a spacesuit underwater in a tank in Huntsville, Alabama, and another tank in Houston, Texas, actually working on the design of the mechanical design of the telescope to, uh, to develop the hardware and the procedures for servicing the telescope in space. We had to think about things like what size should the bolts be, where should the handrails go, uh, what are the procedures for taking an instrument the size of a refrigerator that has to be locked in place with the tolerance of, of microns, uh, taking that in and out of the telescope in, in space with a spacesuit on where your mobility is, uh, is very limited. So that was a very exciting time and that all that development has paid off because we've serviced the Space Telescope on orbit now four different times and we have one more mission coming up that's going to replace some of the instruments and once again basically turn it into a brand new uh, telescope with new detectors on the back that allow us to learn even more about, about how the universe functions.